just like the one from Rogue Fitness, but honestly, it gets the job done. The one from Rogue Fitness is like 200 bucks. All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Strength Classroom. Today I'm continuing the review series of my squat rack attachments. Last episode you saw the dip bars. Today you're going to see my glute hamstring attachment. Now, this is from Rogue Fitness. The foot plate is, the pad is not. I'll go further into detail on that. Now, like I mentioned with the dip bars, I didn't want to have to have a dedicated spot for my glute hamstring work. It would just take up too much space and I have to put it together. And then if I move from here, I gotta take it apart and lug it somewhere else. So I wanted something literally I could pick up with one arm. I will also have to mention that the two by three version of this is no more. They discontinued it. Rogue is like basically phasing out their two by three line. So I just look elsewhere to buy two by three attachments with other companies that will be compatible with my rack. Let's go over to the actual machine and we'll review it piece by piece. All right, here we have it. We have actual part with the rollers, the foot plate, and the pad. This pad I believe was $50 from that same company I mentioned called Fitness Depot. If you were in Canada, I would check them out. Most of their stuff is on the lower end of the quality side. But I will say they have a lot of hidden gems there. And I will say their racks and stuff are getting a lot better. They do have a lot of two by three racks that remind me of my racks. So it seems like they are now what Rogue used to be, which is great if you don't want to pay for the Rogue prices. So check them out, fitnessdepot.ca or .com. I'm not sure what their actual website is. But the foot plate is great. It's very sturdy. It feels exactly like a glute ham race. This, I would have preferred if the actual raised part of the pad was uh, a little more shallow, just like the one from Rogue Fitness, but honestly, it gets the job done. The one from Rogue Fitness is like 200 bucks. This was 50. I'm not paying an extra $150 for slightly more hamstring activity. So there are a lot of things you can do here. You can do sit-ups, you can do the traditional glute ham raise, you can just set up something that's flat and do Nordic leg curls. Anything that you have to hook your feet into will be good. Now, you can adjust this foot plate to be any difficulty you want. The higher your feet are than your knees, the easier the reps going to be. Because you're allowed, you're allowing your knee to dip more down. Now I will say, this is very, very key. Rogue sells this strap that can go around it and you go on a box jump, is where you put this pad. I don't have that. So this will slide forward as you are using it. So it's very important to put something in front of it that will keep it from sliding. It goes right up against my mats right here and that prevents it from sliding, or else this exercise can almost be useless. So if you do decide to buy a setup like this, you must have something in front of this pad to prevent it from sliding. So honestly, that's all there is to it. This combo together, I think was about 250 bucks, but keep in mind what I said, I bought it secondhand, I bought the pad that's not the one on Rogue Fitness right now, so your purchase is gonna be a little bit more different. For someone that wants to save space and still get the benefits of the glute hamstring, my setup, I believe, is perfect. If you like this video and want more equipment reviews, like this video, subscribe, do all that good shit. As always, class is dismissed.